Hi folks, this is Steve here with another video on actually installing mods to your Zero Sievert game. So this is a how-to on actually using a mod manager. In this case, we are using the Vortex mod manager. So this is a tutorial on how to set it up and how to install your mods for your Zero Sievert. So first of all, uh, you need to register to um, the uh, nexusmod.com right and then um, you you should actually see from the uh, URL here uh, you can access the zero sievert mods okay so uh, the first thing is uh, access the vortex uh, mod manager which will help you to install the mods to your game so this is the location for the uh, um, mod manager nexus.mod uh, nexusmod.com slash site slash mods slash one uh, and you will have vortex so you can see here this is vortex okay so first thing is click on the file here right and uh, click on the manual download and then uh, make sure you have a dotnet uh, 6.0 and windows should be a, a os of 10 and above right these are the requirements for it so once that's available click download and then you should be downloading this uh, exe installation file which is around 162 megabytes okay so that's done install it okay so once you have installed this the vortex mod manager right so click on the uh, require the description tab here click on the requirement and then scroll all the way down and you will find a zero sievert vortex extension so launch that up and you will come into zero sievert uh, vortex extension okay this is like a plugin to actually install your um, mods for you okay so once your vortex mod manager has been up okay then the next step is you need to download the uh, zero sievert vortex extension okay for your mod manager so suffice to say if you have downloaded it correctly so and launch your mod your vortex mod manager you will come to see this uh, page login if you need to to uh, the login should be the same as your nexus mod go into your games click here and type zero sievert and then select the location path of your zero sievert for in this case you can see um, let me just show you uh, this is an example of where i installed my zero sievert so you can see in this path here it's actually in c drive games zero sievert and that directory you will be able to see the zero sievert execution file zero sievert exe here okay so uh, I will locate that location and then uh, edit and you will see that uh, in your uh, Vortex Mod Manager the path of the game is actually added here okay once you have successfully added the game location right then will actually start to uh, install the required mods for zero sievert okay so if we go into one of the uh, the mods for zero sievert which is escape from zakov in this case okay so we want to download this so if we click on the description box here scroll to the requirement you will see that it requires four uh other mods 
that needs to be downloaded. Okay, so if we click on all these links, it will launch the respective mod pages. So let's just say custom sprite framework. So it launches this page. Okay, the custom sprite framework. And then what you do is click on the file tab here and then click on the mod manager download, right? So don't close your Vortex um, uh, mod manager, let it run at the back background. So here, just click download, right? And click slow download here. Okay, so select the uh, Vortex mod manager application and you can see on the right side here, on my right here, and then on the mods, clicking on the mods here, you see the custom sprite framework being downloaded. Okay, um, then proceed on with the other three, which is the external uh, external audio framework. Let me just re-download this again. Okay, mod manager download, download, slow download. Open Vortex and you will see my external audio framework being installed here on my mod manager, right? Proceed on with the uh, JSON override framework. Right, so it's downloaded as well. Then the GM loader. Right, so there are two files that you need to download for the GM loader. Okay, so if you go into the GM loader page, right, you will have the GM loader here that you need to download. Okay, the GM loader and you need to download the GM loader configuration file, right? Okay, so where we are right now on the on the mod manager is we downloaded all the prerequisite uh, files for the mod and uh, we need to now download finally the uh, escape from Zarkov uh, mods okay so similarly go to the files and then click on the mod manager download same Okay, so it's downloaded. So now for the uh, EFZ, there are actually uh, a file which is actually the patch here. So the patch will require to overwrite the existing mod. So um, let's download this. So it should overwrite this. So, um, so what I need is actually I need to uh, 
override it with this. So load, load. Okay, all these files. Right, so the patch I will need to I think you can actually use the check for update but uh we'll leave it as this. So um right after this is done, okay, so we will actually um be uh, we have installed all the necessary mods so now is actually to run the uh, we should be able to run the uh, gm loader executable file so i'm not i can't recall how we run this from the uh, um, from the mod manager there should be a way uh, so let's just uh, for the matter of time so let's just go back to the uh, the directory so now after we have actually uh, installed that through the mod manager you see a, a new folder mods here and you will see your GM loader executable being uh, unzipped here as well so what you need to do is just double click this and it will launch your console right and uh, So once that, that's done, it will launch the game automatically, right? And then you can actually verify uh, your EFC is similar to what I have actually described from the other videos, which is uh, just, just check the game menu. You will see a EFZ 1.11 in your menu screen. So hope this is helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not. And see you.